Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you three such a cute DIY projects, home decor pieces that I made from very ordinary items. I made them out of clothespins. So if you want to see how I make them, please keep watching. For the first project, I took a bunch of clothespins and one thin can from canned food. I took the small one so the clothespins can stick uh, out on top. The first thing you need to do is to just separate clothespins, actually take the spring out. It is very easy to do. Just pull one side and the other side should just pop off. Next, I'm gonna glue uh, each piece of a clothespin to my can. Now I'm gonna do it backwards so the inner part of the clothespin it's gonna go outside like I showed you over here. And I'm gonna glue them all around until I run out of clothespins. When you're doing this just make sure to um, keep them aligned so the bottom is straight. I use the bottom of the tin can um, as a guide. Now, I didn't know how many of them I'm gonna need. And as you see over here, there is one small space and one whole clothespins couldn't fit. So I had to cut it in half. Now, if I do, would do it again, um, I might just space them out a little bit, but this worked out too. So I took my X-Acto knife and I cut it out to the side, a size that I needed, and I just um, put it, glue it back in. I decided to go with a Waverly chalk paint in a color mineral to give it one thin coat of color. After that was dried, I used Waverly chalk paint in a color truffle to dry brush the edges and again make it look uh, rustic and old as I like to do. And then I took Beverly chalk paint in a color of white to dry brush it all over on the top. I thought that this piece needed a little more white in it and this uh, made perfect sense. I think it really turned out uh, the way I envisioned it. Now I'm taking the cotton twine and I'm just wrapping around this um, little indentation that was in a clothespins. I wrapped it three times and just made a very simple bow and that is it when it comes to embellishment. Next, I use this flower foam from Dollar Tree. I cut it to size to fit inside of my tin and added little pieces to the side to uh, make it not shift around. And um, I took this succulent clip also from Dollar Tree. I took, the, took it off of the clip, added a little reindeer moss on the bottom and then hot glued the succulent and that was it this project is done again i am so so happy how it turned out it is so cute perfect addition to any shelf
For my next project, I am using 15 clothespins. I showed over here 12, uh, but I ended up using 15. And again, I'm taking the springs out. Next, I'm gonna be hot gluing them back together the way they were in a, um, to begin with. Just now, they don't have springs around. And I'm gonna do that to all of them. Now, when you're gluing them back uh, together again, just make sure to align them so none of the ends stick out. That's gonna be very important later on. When that was done, now I'm gonna be gluing three clothespins together uh, sideways so as I'm showing over here and again just make sure to uh, make it as straight as possible to align the edges and those little indentation that they um, have that's going to be great later for embellishment Now we have five um, sets of three clothespins glued together and now I'm taking two and I'm gluing them so their heads meet as uh, you see over here. The next one will be glued on top to create a T. After that is done, I'm gonna be gluing uh, next two on the bottom. So as you can see over here, we are creating a cross. You can always add some additional uh, hot glue to the sides if needed and into the um, spaces between clothespins. Now next step is completely optional. I wanted to uh, sand it just a little bit for all the imperfections um, to be smooth. And then I'm using this um, brown craft paint that I watered down to create a stain. If you uh, don't want it to look rustic, you could have um, painted the clothespins when they were separated in the beginning, but I don't mind. I like this uh, weathered look and I don't mind uh, some spots um, that are not covered. When that was dried, I used the Waverly Chalk Paint in a color white to just dry brush it on top. Next, I am taking cotton twine uh, and I am pulling it through one of the um, holes on top to make a little um, loop that I can hang this cross um, on and adding a little dab of a hot glue to the side so, so it doesn't shift. Next, I am going to be using the same cotton twine to create a little flower. Now, I'm not very good at making bows and flowers, but this is how I do mine. I wrap uh, this twine around my fingers a couple of times, and then I'm taking another piece of twine, putting it um, in the middle of this loop, and then just tying it in the middle. After that, I cut off the edges, and that was it. That's one part, and I already pre-made another part, same like that and I'm gonna be putting them together on the top of each other and that's gonna create this cute little flower. Very simple, um, especially for people like me who are not really good at making uh, bows and flowers. And that completes this project. I think it turned out really cute. I would not uh, think it was made out of clothespins if I see it somewhere. This third project is super simple. I'm taking four of these clothespins, again, taking the spring out and gluing them back together like I did in my previous project. And I'm gonna need only four of them. Next, I'm taking the picture that I print out. Now, I didn't have a cardstock paper, so I took a regular um, printing paper and then I took a cardstock and I measured um, perfectly to the sides but then on the top and the bottom just a little more 
and cut it out. Next, I'm using my Waverly Chalk Paint in a color Mineral to give a one coat of paint to my clothespins. And while they're drying, I am taking just regular school glue and I am attaching my picture to the cardstock to make it uh, more sturdy. After that was done, I am attaching my clothespins. I am putting two on top so their heads meet, like I showed you over here, and I'm putting two on the bottom. Next, using Beverly Chalk Paint in a color Truffle, I'm going to be dry brushing the clothespins to give it more dimension and just make it look more rustic and old-fashioned. And I also add a little touch to the side of the picture, again to make it look more old. Next, I am taking the same cotton twine that I used in my previous projects, piping it through uh, those two holes that are on a clothespins. I'm tying a knot and cutting off the excess and that completes this project. And I really think it is so cute, so unique and adds such a character to any picture. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Tell me, would you recreate one of these? If you're not part of my channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you and share this video. Maybe somebody will find it interesting. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.